Today we will be releasing the Ilio Tibial Band. We're going to go to 1.6 bar. It's a big area, 3,000 shocks. And we're going to go to 16 hertz. We'll be using the large 35mm deactor head for this. We're using 16 hertz. As 16 hertz has been shown, well, anything above 15 hertz has been shown to release muscles in the literature. We'll come on to the Ilio Tibial Band. We need quite a bit of gel for this it's a big area we're going for 3,000 shocks it's a big head so we're going to need quite a lot of gel we're going to be coming up above the hip just down below the knee there are certain points on this that tend to be very tender where the greater trochanter and the great trochanteric bursa is that can be a very tender area there can be a tender area as you come across the knee as well on the lateral joint line start applying the treatment and we come down in a Fairly uniform snaking effect down the leg and back up again. This is just to make sure you don't miss any areas, but also to try and ensure that the treatment is homogeneous or equal throughout the whole of the iliotibial band. I'm not sure about the term myself. I don't think you can ever be completely equal on the areas. And in fact, you probably wouldn't want to be if you find an area that looks particularly tight or particularly painful I tend to hover on that area more and spend more tr time treating that area as you can see here just working our way up and down the iliotibial band right across the top now up towards the top of the hip back round again you don't have to do the treatment in this position you could put the iliotibial band under stretch by dropping the knee off the edge of the treatment couch and straightening the knee which will put it under more pressure you see there we've run to the end of a thousand shocks we're not going to do all three thousand on this leg